Okay, for this project, I'm using a size H. It is a five millimeter crochet hook. And then I'm using just uh, regular four ply yarn. I'm using Care on brand, but you could use any brand that you want. Okay, you want to start with the slip knot on your hook. And then you want to start with a chain of 36. Two, three, three, four, three, five, and thirty-six. Okay, then we want to do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And remember, we never count the stitches on our hook. So one, two, three, four, double crochet. And then I'm just going to go across, and I'm going to do one double crochet in every stitch across the chain. one in each stitch. Oh. Spilling stuff. I <laughs> spilled spill my coffee everywhere. I already did my big piece um, a little bit ago. So I'm just going to you do one double crochet all the way to the end of your chain. So I'm going to pretend like I'm at the end of my chain. But when you get to the end of the chain, you just chain three and then turn. And then all you want to do is one double crochet again and every stitch across. Like this. Until you get to the end again. All we're doing is rows of double crochet. It's really easy. And then when you get to the end again, um, you do want to make sure though when you get to the end that you count the chain three as a stitch. You got to go into the top of that on every round. Otherwise it's going to turn out to be crooked. A lot of time when people are new at crocheting they forget that. And then it's not going to be straight if you do. And then you chain three again and then you turn and then you're just going to do one double crochet and every stitch across. Of course yours are going to be bigger because I cut mine short just to show you. But just going to do rows back and forth of double crochet, chaining three and turning and making sure you go in to this chain three at the end of each row as a stitch. So just rows back and forth of double crochet and I'll let you know here uh, in a few more minutes how many more rows I do. Okay, I went ahead and did 18 rows of double crochet. And then, once you get done with that, I'm going to do some rows of a single crochet up here. And i got to make some buttonholes. So, this is what we're going to do. You just finished your last double crochet, so now you want to chain one and turn. And we're going to do one single crochet and every stitch across the row. Just one of every stitch. Okay, when you make it to the end, after your first row of single crochet, you want to chain one and turn. And I'm going to do one more row of single crochet across before I start making the buttonholes. So I'm just going to go across again doing one single crochet and every stitch just like we did in a previous round. Okay, at the end of that round I just chained one and I turned. Now we're going to need some stitch markers so we can mark the buttonholes. And I counted, um, you need to count from this end up 
17 stitches and on the 17th stitch you need to put a stitch marker. That's where we're going to start one button. I'm going to put three buttons on this and if you only want to put one in the center just do this one. But If you want to do three like me I'm going to do two more. So and we need to count over eight on this side put a stitch marker and then from this side over eight in stitch marker and that should be just about equal I'm gonna go over one more from this side over put it in nine that's what we want to do and you can count and make sure it's in case you have a different amount of stitches as me you can count and kind of make sure that they're about equal. I'm going to use two stitches for each button. So I'm going to, these two are going to be not counted. So if that makes any sense. But just get about centered for your buttonholes. And then we're just going to single crochet across again until I get to my first stitch marker. And I'll show you how we're going to make the buttonholes. So this one I counted in 8 stitches and then from here to here is 17, from here to here is 9. And then when I get to my stitch with my buttonhole, I want to not go into it. I'm not going to single crochet in that stitch. I'm going to chain 2 and then skip over the one with the stitch marker and then the next one skip those two and then just do a single crochet into the next stitch like that so that's one buttonhole and then I want a single crochet up till my next stitch marker and don't single crochet in the spot with with the stitch marker and when you get to the spot which the, with the stitch marker chain two don't crochet into it or the one next to it, single crochet into the one after that. So you just skip two stitches again, pull it out, and then we'll single, or I'm sorry, single crochet again, I don't even know what I was doing, to the next stitch marker. And then when you get to it, don't go into that one, chain two and skip that one and the next one and single crochet in the one after that. So you skip two again and then just single crochet to the end. Okay, we got our buttonholes and they look to be pretty close to being centered. They don't have to be perfect but and then when you get to the end we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to do single crochet again across one in every stitch and then when we get to the spot where our chains are for our buttonholes we made two chains so we're just going to single one single crochet in each of them chain spots. And then just continue single crocheting across. So there's one buttonhole we made. And I'm at a chain space again, so I'm just going to single crochet in the chain stitches. And then keep going across again. single crochet in these chain spaces again and then 
single crochet to the end and then when we get to the end I'm going to chain one and turn and do one more row of single crochet one in every stitch and then after that you can tie off and hide your tail okay now we're going to make um, the sides of the bag so we can put that bag to the side for now or that piece I want to do a chain of four and we're going to slip stitch into the first to form a ring we want to chain three that counts as our first double crochet and we need to have a total of 12 double crochets and so we're going to go ahead and this is going to be our first one we're going to go ahead and do 11 more through the center of the ring So counting that chain three, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, here's seven, eight, nine, ten, I need to have twelve, counting that chain three, eleven, and twelve. And then you want to slip stitch into the beginning chain three. Like that. Pull your tail. Make that center circle smaller. Just like that. Now we want to chain three again, and that's going to count as our first double crochet. This time around, we want to do two double crochets in every stitch. So we'll go right back into that same stitch and do another one. So counting that chain three, we have two in that first stitch. Now we want to work our way around putting two double crochets in each stitch okay at the end of this round you want to slip stitch into the beginning chain three close that round off you need to have, should have a 24 stitches at the end of this round. Now we want to chain three again. Counts as our first double crochet. And then we want to go into the next one right here and do two in this one. And then the next one right here is going to be one double crochet. The next stitch is going to have two double crochets. The next stitch, just have one. The next one, two. So we're just going to repeat that pattern all the way around, back to the beginning. Okay, then we just add a slip stitch into the top of that chain three. Okay, now we're going to attach these circles on. So I got my big piece of fabric here. And I have it, this is going to be the, the part that you want to be the inside of the bag facing me like this. And right up here is the rows of single crochet we did. So you want to start right at the bottom of them rows. And then we'll put the good side of the cylinder facing us. So when we sew it on, it's going to be like this. So you can just stick it in any part of the circle that you want. And just go ahead and pull through that slip stitch on your hook that now I'm just gonna go and do a single crochet it on so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna chain one and then I'm gonna go into the next stitch on my big piece of fabric and then the next stitch on my circle fabric and single crochet the next stitch on my big piece the next stitch on my circle single crochet and I'm just going to keep single crocheting this circle piece on
So you just want to do this all the way down. Just like that. That's what it will start to look like. Okay, I made it all the way around with single crochet and I'm here to the end and you should have a little bit of extra left here. And that's what we want. Because it's going to fold the, now you're going to, this is the row of single crochet that we did with our buttonholes. We want to match the leftover with that up and then single crochet the ends of them together. So you just go through a stitch on this piece and then a stri stitch on this piece and single crochet it together or just like this and just try to evenly space your stitches out you can't really see the stitches that well like that. That's what we got so far so we can clip that and hide that tail and then you want to take your other circle and sew it on the exact same way and then whatever you have left here you should have a little bit left after you get done sewing. Sew it on, sew it up the side right we just did that side and then we'll have this is an opening. Okay, I got my piece all sewed up. And right back here is where we'll sew the buttons on. So they'll put to these buttonholes. But now I'm going to make the handle. And I'm going to make it where it just goes around it like that. Around both sides. So I'm just taking one and kind of measuring like this, going around the opposite side for how long I want my handles. So I'm going to sew them on. Um, I did a chain of 160 for my handles, but you can do whatever you want. And then I'm going to do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And I'm going to go down and do one double crochet for the entire length of the chain. one in every stitch okay I got my handle this is done this is how it's going to kind of be um, I'm going to sew these two ends together with a yarn needle let's put a couple stitches in it to hold it And then this end that's sewed together, I'm going to put at the bottom of the bag, so it ain't going to be noticeable. Okay. So, we kind of get the idea of how it's going to go. Once you get it all situated on here how you want it. Make sure they're all straight, the straps are all straight on both sides. are pretty close to being equal. You 
you want these straps to come up. You can have them come up on the opposite sides of the um, buttonholes or in between. It's really up to you however you want to do it. I'm going to have mine come up on the ends like this. Once I get my handles in place, I want it, and the straps are just about the same on both sides. I'm just going to pin this down with some pins, and then I'm going to sew it on. Put a few in it to hold it about in the spot that I want it. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is take my yarn needle and a piece of yarn and sew it on. It's going to start right up here. And go through the inside of the bag. I'm just going to sew it all the way down. Just like that. Try to get it on as straight as possible. I'm just going to do this all the way down all the way around the entire strap all the way down back up and then I'm going to do this side and I might have to put a few stitches on the other side too so it don't flap over okay I got my handle sewed on I went ahead and went uh, down the first side and then I did a few down the other side just so it wouldn't flap over so my buttons on back here and that's it that's all there is to this bag and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and you can check out my Facebook page, the Bag O'Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link below and you can post any of your crochet items on there. And until next time, have a good day.